What's up beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday. We're going to be doing some fun projects today. First we're tackling a macrame plant hanger. I'm also making some artwork for our home. So I hope you guys like this video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So let's get started. For our first project, you'll need macrame, scissors, and a tape measure. First thing we're going to do is create a macrame ring. We'll need 9 pieces of string 260 inches long, which we'll be using not only to create the rope ring, but also to complete the plant hanger. Find the middle of the ropes, and taking a 60 inch piece of rope, wrap this around the 9 pieces 25 times. This will create a loop that will be used to hang your planter. Taking a 36 inch rope, we'll be creating a gathering knot to secure and finish off the ring. I wrap this around about seven times to really make sure that this stays in place. Cut off the ends and with that we're ready to start our hanger. For this hanger we're going to be creating three arms. So six pieces of rope per arm. Starting with the right outermost string which we'll use as our anchor. Take the string directly to the left of it and we'll be knotting it around the anchor using a clove hitch knot. Now just repeat the step for the string next to it. Then moving to the left outermost string, we'll be creating the same knot, but in the opposite direction. Now we need to connect them in the center to complete the triangle. With that done, we're going to continue the line to begin the next diamond. To continue the diamond on the other side, we need to take the third string from the right and use this as our anchor. With the half of our diamond complete, we're going to use a square knot for the middle of the diamond. Oh, 
And with that out of the way, now we just need to complete the diamond. Continue the same pattern until you have 11 diamonds on each arm. Once you have the three arms completed, we're going to make a net to hold our pot in place. And to do this, we need to connect the arms to one another. For this, we're going to create a diamond square knot. So take three strings from the left of one arm and three strings from the right of another arm. Start the pattern about four inches from the bottom of your diamonds above. Once all of your arms are connected, we're going to repeat this again about 3 to 4 inches down to secure the arms together.
Lastly, we just wanna create a gathering knot to finish off the planter. And like before, I'm wrapping this about seven times to really make sure that it's secure. Now all that's left to do is to clean up that tassel. And there you go, you have your new plant hanger. For DIY number two, you'll be needing a canvas, a paintbrush, paint, thread, a needle, a pencil, and painter's tape. So place that tape on across your canvas, squirt that paint on, and start painting. So I did one layer personally, but you can do as many as you like, and just try to get it as even as possible. I don't know about you, but I just find painting so therapeutic. And once you're done, it's time to rip that tape off. Anyone else find that so satisfying? So here I've taken a piece of parchment paper and I'm sketching out what I want to draw on my canvas. And this is absolutely crucial because we're actually going to be using this as a stencil. So once you're happy with your drawing, it's time to cut it out. Now I'm using another piece of painter's tape to hold my stencil in place on the canvas. With that secure in place, I'm using a needle to poke holes about a centimeter away from each other all around the stencil. Now thread that needle and let's get sewing. Yep, you heard me right, we're sewing on this canvas. So what I think I'm doing is a back stitch, but I could be totally wrong, so here's a close up. So after I filmed this video, I actually did some research and I think the next time I'm gonna use a chain stitch. It also creates a nice thick line like this, but I really like the pattern it creates. I absolutely love the way this one turned out. I think it's gonna be so easy to style. 